guys, welcome back. Mick Hayes here. That's Mick like Mick Jagger. Hayes like Isaac Hayes. Guitar player, singer, songwriter, uh, living here in uh, Franklin, Tennessee, which is just south of Nashville. Um, and uh, I'm so glad that you guys took a moment to kind of come back and join me today. Or if this is your first time, welcome. But uh, what you just heard me playing in the intro there uh, is going to be my own little brief lesson here on playing the pickup. Uh, personally, I feel that when I hear somebody grab a really strong pickup uh, going into a solo or at the beginning of a song, I think, just think it gives the mark of somebody who really put the reps in. Uh, and I, it's a very noticeable difference to me. It's, it's, it says something about your confidence, says everything about you know how you're presenting yourself throughout the, uh, the next 24-ish uh, bars. Um, that said, I do have a visual that I'll give you guys in just a little bit. Uh, but... First and foremost, we've been dealing with the key of A. This track that I played uh, is actually a jam track that I made for you guys, uh, just you know, uh, included here in the description. And of course, it's right here uh, on my YouTube channel. Great little barroom kind of shuffle, uh, just a trio. Uh, and I even tucked in some uh, ambient bar noise into it to just make it feel that much more authentic. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and please share it with your friends. That said, um, the visual. Let me give this to you. So I don't necessarily watch Western movies at all. This could be just because I'm from the uh, Back to the Future 3 generation uh, that I have kind of a brief <clears throat> knowledge of of Westerns. But I've taught this for, uh, for years with students of mine. Uh, and it's the whole approach to the pickup to me, the, the, the visual place that I go to in my mind is that that scene where you know you're in the saloon, the list, the camera's in the saloon, uh, and it's on you know literally the shot starts on the guy's boots at the saloon door. You know, of course they're going to be badass, dusty, you know, boots. And then as the camera pans up and the saloon doors swing open, and everybody in the bar turns around to see that you know the bad boys in town. That's exactly how I approach um, my attitude you know, more or less with uh, with playing pickups. And I really hope that that's something that you guys can visualize as you're practicing this and visualize as you're, as you're you know, trying to improve on this, I should say. But yeah, imagine again that, you know, the camera starts at your boots, camera goes up, the saloon doors come open, you know, maybe you lift up your hat, you know, take a, a puff off your cigar, whatever it may be. But that's, this is the announcement. This is the, the main character, the main bad guy has officially walked into the room. So let's get into some of the guitar playing here. So first thing first, like I said, we're in the key of A. Um, being that this comes from a, you know, a major shape, you know, this just starts from, from your F shape which again, really just comes from your E shape, moved up and barred, F, G, and then A. You're gonna start on the flat three, roll into three, five, six, one. Now, if you want to see the framework of that, just the mental framework again to go with that, it's also very similar to your D minor shape. You know, the, and again, that's framework. I, I feel bad telling you that, but my mind tends to visualize in chords and that's kind of helped me for the years. Maybe it helps you or maybe you're the guy that rips on me in the comments. What are you going to do? But basically what I'm doing is outlining three, six, and one. And I'm adding, of course, the roll, the pickup note there. So again, this can be used at the beginning of a song. This is that BB King thing, by the way. This can be used at the beginning of the song. It can be used at the beginning of your solo. And what you saw me play there um, in the intro is again a, a, a first string bend off of the, the add nine there. Another great way of kind of coming out of that go whole tone and then go into the, the other sound of it there through the uh, dot, <clears throat> uh, pentatonic, excuse me. But yeah. And again, it's coming from your major chord. It flirts with, you know, your six and 
if you need to kind of visualize the framework, like I said, think of the, the D minor shape. And the reason why I say that, because that also applies to the other one. Okay, we've talked with, about this one a lot, but that's because it's that important. But again, so same thing, opening of the tune, same thing, it's that same shape. Right from the D minor shape you learned way back in cowboy chords. And then bending that same note in that same position. And in my head, like I'm going back to that Anson Funderburg song that I told you guys about before, Chill Out. That's a that's a great tune to kind of just keep pulling licks from. Literally, it's gotten me through <laughs> the 30 years of my life, probably, you know. Oh, that's scary to say. That's the truth. End it how you want. We've showed that a number of times on these clips. It's one of my favorites. And again, that's just this note bent up. That would be the equivalent of that. I think is actually what I played in the intro, but forgive me. Work with this a little bit. The, the pickup is so important because like I said, in my opinion, which maybe I'm pushing it on you a little too much, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it shows that you're a little bit more polished. It shows that you're a little bit more confident that you'll approach the guitar, uh, you'll approach the solo, I should say, with a little more authority. Uh, and I hope that that helps you guys. If you haven't subscribed, we've reached over 550 subscribers, I believe. Uh, I haven't looked yet today, but uh, I'm really excited to see this thing growing, guys. Thank you so much. Look for a new video Monday through Friday. Uh, and I might even post a couple of those little uh, shorts over the weekend. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.